Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 4th, 2024 New Moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, it gets this channel seen by more people, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below. And we can work on any questions that you have or anything that you see here that you want to dive deeper into. Now let's clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see here, Scorpio, what the tarot has to say. And we're going to do this old school Dane way, which I love that there's an old school Dane way. So one of you had reminded me and yeah, you're absolutely right. I love this way of reading. So let's bring it back. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This one. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides. Ooh. Fantastic. Okay, before we turn all these over, let's see what spirit has to say. Let me just make sure everything is in frame. Perfect. Okay. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. Yeah, and note that the announcement will only be made on this channel. So hit the bell notification so that you are notified when that announcement is made. Do not be tricked by anybody else. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. Here we have connection reverse. And this is... This is the fox glove. This is a connection with the heart. This is a connection with the way that we want to move forward emotionally, spiritually for ourselves. We can feel disconnected. We can feel frustrated. We can feel a bit overwhelmed. So do be mindful about this. A new moon talks to our intentions and a new moon talks to our heart. This new moon is in Leo. It's a bit more fierce. It's a bit more dramatic, creative, you know, in inventive, intuitive intuitively inventive it's like oh let's just try this it's like let's throw the paint on the wall and see what happens but here we feel disconnected to the ability of of trying of, of transforming of of going for it so just be mindful about this during this time because it just feels like oh but i can't and so it's like why and it, it needs to connect and it's a need to connect with the heart here scorpio that is just so important for us it moves us to our chakra energy Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels, I love this soul star. This is the soul star chakra and this is soul's healing. And so here there's just like healing energy coming down. It's like, you know, spiritual energy, Reiki energy, however you want to see it. It's like universal energy coming down, healing, <sighs> cleansing us, calming us, you know, guiding us. So just be aware of that. You have that beautiful connection to the soul star chakra. And it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. 
guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides the eight of of cups something is overstaying its welcome okay this can be a relationship this can be you know a mindset but something here during this time and we're going to see it during the moon but we're going to be thinking oh no it's not that bad right i can i can make this work i i can get this right and it's like why why are you doing this to yourself so just be aware of this during this time here scorpio okay so we are crowned with the two of cups reverse yet yeah, there's a healing that needs to come okay interesting we then have the queen of cups that's us the princess of cups again us the four of pentacles the ace of pentacles the king of wands the hermit which is virgo energy the king of pentacles the high priestess mm -hmm. okay that makes perfect sense the lovers okay that also makes perfect sense and the eight of pentacles interesting Give me a moment. Okay, so it's really interesting. The story begins with us. And this moon is about us. A moon, I, I don't know why Spirit is saying, but a moon is always about us, which sounds very egotistical. And you would think that would be Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon, or maybe even Pisces. Pisces is the moon in the major arcana. But Scorpio, the moon is us because it is the place between worlds. It's what we see and what we can't see. And that is what a Scorpio is. Okay, so that is what Spirit just said. That is so cool. There's a healing that has to be done, but there's also a fight between what is seen and what is unseen. And that is coming from the high priestess energy here reverse where it's like no i don't want to walk down this path i don't want the veil lifted from my eyes so there's something here where spirit god source spirit however you see the divine the universe is talking to us but it's hard for us to listen because it's like well how deep do you want me to go it's like what are you asking of me and here there's a bit of a temper coming forward now this can be from this leo time period because the king of wands is fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius that fire sign energy can be the Leo time period and the Leo moon. But it is also this sense of, of you need to be what I want you to be. There's a very domineering energy coming forward. This can be from our past. This can be from our right now. But there's a very domineering energy coming forward. It's not from our present. I do know that. It's not, no, it's not from, okay. So it's not from our present. It's from our past. Interesting. That's what Spirit just said. And there's a sense here. I know it's not in our future. Like we're afraid of the future, but we're afraid of a change that is leading us towards our future selves. But it's more of this person is afraid of us changing in a way that they cannot control us. So it would be the present, but it's like this person has more power in the past than they do in the present. Like they're losing hold, losing hold. So do be aware of this. There is a sense here of you embracing your power and your tenacity. There's something that needs to be healed. Okay, that we're having a bit of a trouble with and a bit of a like uncomfortableness around. So do be aware of that. We have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. So this is our nurturing, you know, caring, compassionate side with our child self coming forward. If we have child energy that is a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, that's going to be very important here as well. Very nurturing energy, very close. So do be aware of that. But it is really saying here, how do I drink deeply of what I love and how am I constantly inspired? How do I open up my heart and let my heart know that I am always connecting with what I love, what I have loved, what has inspired me, what moves me forward and where it is that I want to be. We're releasing vampiric energy that has held us back. And as we do so, we have a bit of a pause on the way that we can see ourselves as successful and the way that we feel that we are successful. It's very interesting here with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, that's taking the gift, but we're not seeing that we take the gift. We're not seeing that we're moving forward. We're not seeing that so much is changing and so much is is propelling us in a direction that we didn't even know we wanted to walk. And that's part of this moon. This moon in Leo, again, very creative, very dramatic. OK, it is also the sun and the moon are very closely opposing Caraclo. And Caraclo is the largest asteroid in our solar system. And Caraclo is all about the healing all about the serenity, all about the peace. In mythology, she is the wife of Chiron. Chiron is the, is the wounded warrior. And our Chiron in our astrological chart is, our, is the wound that we are born with, our life wound. And that is a wound that we have to heal 
in order to fulfill our life purpose. And she is the serenity that stands by us as we heal, as we grow, as we transform, as we find ourselves, as we see ourselves, as we connect with ourselves. And so that's going to be very big here. If we can step into that energy that turns the high priestess over, it walks us in love, and it has us healing and creating in a way that Scorpio is just so natural for us, it's actually a little bit scary. And that's why we're pushing it away right now in this moon, because it is scary for us. It is beautifully healing and connective, but it is also so unlike the way that we're told we're supposed to live our life that we're like, oh, no, no, thank you. So just being aware of that. Also being aware that since you can see like around the veil, you know, since you can see around corners, pretty much, you can make people uncomfortable. And just know that that's just something that like either you just don't share everything that you see and that you that you hear with people, but it can also make you feel like there's something wrong with you. There isn't anything wrong with you. This is how you're born. This is who you are. Embrace it. Absolutely. It is a time here that we are going to be transforming with our with our fire and our passion. And we need to sit quietly within ourselves because there's going to be a very disruptive energy around us that wants us to be loud and chaotic and it's just going to be too much. So do be aware of that. We need to move forward calmly, methodically, distinctly towards what it is that we want. But it's interesting here, okay, because this is my minor kind of lover's card. This is my lover's card. There is something here around love where you were hurt and this can be a controlling father, a domineering father, a domineering partner. Okay, or it doesn't have to be a father, but it's somebody who is very masculine energy oriented. So being aware of that is going to be very important for us because we need to embrace the healing of this moon and setting our intentions, not just for the next 15 days till the next full moon, but for the next six months. So we have the new moon in Leo, and then in six months, we will have the full moon in Leo. And we want to embrace our healing and our connection for that full moon in Leo for you know stepping into our power completely and that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be entering into the new year which it sounds wild to be talking about the new year right now but we're going to be entering into the new year with a calmer sense of self and a more prosperous outlook on like this is what i can do this is how i can move forward i know what i want and it's a fierceness of conviction that we thought we had lost along the way we thought that like like we were done being strong and spirit is saying here, Scorpio, you're you're not done being strong like at all. You're very hardworking. You're very tenacious. We can we can want to escape deeper connection during this time because we're afraid of being hurt. So we can go for subconsciously. It's not going to be really consciously, but relationships and people that are kind of like junk food. Like it's not good for us. And it's going to hurt our tummy. So just be aware of that during this time because we need to say, what do I love? And we need to let love move us forward. We can also be having a bit of a hard time with communication, all right? Because we have Virgo here, we have we have Gemini here. Both are ruled by Mercury, and right now Mars is in Gemini. So we have the King of Wands, which can represent Mars reversed, and we have Gemini reversed, which can make us rather combative or very sensitive to any sort of negativity that we read. Or that we are privy to so just being mindful about this especially online is going to be really important don't engage in negativity in forums that are like you know just rude like don't engage in rudeness that's going to be the best way because if we're not engaging in rudeness then we're not engaging in um in anger so just just be aware of that okay so let's see what the moon has to say for herself angels and spirit guides show me clearly ah. guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides, angels. So we have here fear. Mm -hmm. Realization. And will. So will we realize that our fear is, is holding us back? And will we realize that we ourselves are the key? We are the queen and we are the princess. So we are the energy moving us forward, that sacred feminine energy, that healing energy moving us forward. The page is the inner child. Are we going to open our hearts to what the child that lives inside of us has loved forever and bring that energy forward and nurture it. And that's why it's so, it's shown as the, as the sacred feminine, you know, queen of cups energy here. And it doesn't matter how we identify ourselves, that energy is leading us forward, but we're afraid of it because we step fully into its power. If we step fully into the power of the healer, of the seer, of the, of the, of the emotional connection, 
or the emotional connector, where will that lead us? And what does that entail? So just being mindful about this is going to be very important and being aware of this is going to be very important. It moves us then to go deeper into our lunar energy, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, with the Gemini energy reversed. And now you're going to be like, what? Dane, they're all reversed, but it's okay. It is okay. Reversed cards, like they can only speak certain ways, right? Upright. And so being reversed is okay. The answers you need are coming. That's reversed. The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's reversed. Okay. Show the world the real you is reversed. And then believe in the impossible is reversed. So in order to believe in the impossible, we have to show the world the true us. The answers we need are coming, but are we listening to them? because we're very focused on, you know, what should be instead of the love of what is right now. So this moon is saying to us that we need to start believing in the impossible. And right now, I mean, Dr. Hugh, who reference, right? We are the impossible girl. You need to start believing in the impossibility of you. You know, what if you gambled on yourself? What if you bet on you? What if you saw you for the powerful, like beautiful person that you are? And what if, you just started to be confident and, and, and comfortable in your own skin, like loving yourself. And you can say, I already do that. And I'm sure you do. Like, you know, this isn't like picking on you at all. But spirit's like, what if you radiated with that? Because that sets you apart from so many other people, which may make you a target for some. But if you stand in your power and you stand in your love, you are going to see that it is an extraordinary thing. And you show the world the real you because that is who you are meant to be. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. It's not going to approach the way that we thought it was. It's going to be different. The answers you need are coming, but again, they're going to be different. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. We have the gift from God's source spirit, however you see the divine universe of wealth, prosperity, what you value as much as money, that leveling up, that embracing your, your power of self, like your wealth of self. Like I deserve to be rich, rich in body, mind, and spirit. And it brings us to the page of the Knight of, of Pentacles who takes that gift, right? And who moves forward with it and is the most cautious and planning and like steady of all the Knights. And that's how we're going to move forward into, into the new chapter of our being, into the new understanding of us. And it is a beautiful thing. It is a powerful thing. It's a scary thing as well. It moves us then to our subconscious energy. And here we have sustain reversed. This is chicory. I love chicory coffee. That's just a side note. <laughs> this is, it's hard for us to sustain what it is that we want because we're questioning, do we even have the right to sustain it? Do we even have the right to want it? So being aware of that is going to be important. It moves us then to our chakra energy, which is truth, the third chakra. What have we been talking about this whole entire time? Speak the truth to you. Say what is true to you. The answers you need are coming but we might not want to hear them necessarily. So just being aware. And it's like the healing is coming, the connection is coming, but we're afraid of it because we haven't yet, we haven't yet chosen us. And it's going to be so important to say, but I choose me, Scorpio. But I choose me and I am Scorpio. Like I choose me. And it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. And it's the Ace of Swords. It is, it is people making you doubt your words in your mind making people question your, letting people have you question your decisions. So just be aware of that. It's like, I'm doubting my words. I'm doubting my voice. I'm doubting my right to move forward. And spirit's like, stop it. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot energy, which is the seven of wands reverse. That's very common for this time, for this moon with the seven of wands reverse. It's like, I'm not fighting this anymore. I'm not fighting. I'm not constantly proving myself. I stand in my power. I know my worth and I am moving me forward. And it moves us then to our subconscious Luna message, which is have faith in your dreams. As we are having trouble assessing how to move forward, like how to traverse this terrain, have faith in your dreams, have faith in the bigger picture. That is you. That is going to be very important. And that is going to be very powerful. We need to assess. We need to look at the bigger picture 
we need to have faith in our dreams and we're having trouble looking at the bigger picture because we can want things to be a very certain way and we're releasing a poison that has been within us. We're releasing a doubt, a fear, a negativity, vampiric energy, energy that has been draining us dry. It's like, why am I even holding on to this? I'm letting you go and I'm choosing me. It moves us then, well, it moves us then to the end. It moves us then to the singing poem. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Scorpio, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed moon. Bye.